well. We are currently stacking up these missions, working our way through our mission tree, and we are very close to finishing it up. I think a lot of it is going to be focused on finishing up the conquest over here, forming the Roman Empire, but uh, I hope you guys are enjoying because I have been having a ton of fun. And if you are enjoying, make sure you let me know by uh, leaving a like on the video because it does help me out a lot more than you might know. And uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you haven't subscribed at this point, I do not know what I need to tell you. But uh, all I know is that I'm enjoying this campaign and I really do hope that you guys have been as well. Let's get these guys pieced out. Uh, Hormuz is occupying these provinces, so I just need to... What's it? There a mission where I need to take Tabriz? Where is it at here? This one. Tabriz. Okay. Oh. We need to own a lot of these provinces over here. Rivalries of old, huh? So we'll have to own Tabriz, and then we'll have to own 20 provinces in Persia. Okay. I can do that. I think it's about time we went to war with the Timurids, who, you know, are nothing. They are a nobody. Get over here. Get Tabriz occupied. Let's have these guys get carpet siege down over here. We got some land down here as well, which is hilarious. We got some rebels popping. I don't know where. Ajam, I will take this province. To be honest, uh, Hormoz occupies that stuff. That's fine. Uh, yep. So I will take this province here. And I will convert it and then core it. And I've, I've explained it, but the reason why I'm coring it first or converting it first is just because it reduces the unrest. So less likely to have rebels. Merciless foe, the Ottoman Sultanate now lays in ruins. And instead, the Phoenix shall rise and envelop... Madrid has been occupied by a merciless foe, the Ottoman Sultanate. Okay, this looks like an ish this looks like an accident. Uh yeah. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna take a screenshot of that and send that over to a uh, big boss and let him let him resolve that. I uh, I don't really know exactly what that's all about. That is an accident, I think, though. The Ottoman Sultanate has not existed for decades. Or like Two centuries at this point, so we're good. <laughs> Get you guys over there. Where's this capital? Where is this capital for real? Oh, occupies capital. Cool. So yeah, we're gonna need these two provinces. So that means we're gonna have to go to war with Hormuz to make it so he gets rid of those. I think I will not go belligerent, Tim, but uh, we will. Just beeline it right for his capital and piece him out of that war. Uh, I don't mind giving up a little bit of crown land for the money. That's fine. That will allow me to uh, turn around and build a couple more of these guys, right? And then a couple more of these guys, right? The canals seem pretty good as well. I might build a couple of those. It looks like we're basically done with the roads. We are done with the roads. Very good. So these guys give local dev cost and trade value modifier. So let's just upgrade a bunch of those as well. These ones are a little more expensive. But um, I actually don't think they're a free building slot, are they? They're not. In that case, let's uh, let's build a couple universities first. I like to cover the nation in universities. So yeah, we're just going to head over and peace out Timmy. These guys over here, heretics must burn. Sure. I don't care. Don't care, don't care. That will allow us to start sieging this stuff back over here. There you go. We just accidentally stack wipe the uh, Timurid army like a boss. Galician separatists. Let's uh, suppress some rebels over here that are going to pyre. I prefer it if you did not. There you go. They'll probably still fire, but uh, as our unrest goes down from overextension, shouldn't be an issue. So, very good. I'm going to have these guys break their alliance with Mushasha. That way I can attack Mushasha. Oh, they're guaranteeing them. So they're going to no longer guarantee Mushasha. That will allow me to attack Mushasha. Mushasha is a fun word to say. Mushasha, Mushasha, Mushasha. There you go. Get these guys over here. Truce with Trebizond is over. Oh no, whatever will I do? Here, core that up. Very good. Our Diplo guy is dad. That's unfortunate. 
But uh, if I recall correctly, ooh, siege ability is good. This guy is super cheap. So let's take him and upgrade him to level five. 1.3 ducats a month for a level five advisor. You can't really beat it. You really, it's actually like impossible to beat it in my opinion. Let's have you guys head over and uh, get or moves off that fort because those, this is my fort now. I called dibs on this fort. Lay any rebels or yeah, very good. Get you guys pieced out. There you go. Just occupy a couple more provinces. Did I lose a battle somewhere? Oh, wow. It took a lot of clay over here. I think I lost a battle somewhere and I wasn't paying attention. Thought I heard the sound, but I might be wrong. Let's have those guys get out of there. That's all I want from you. East out. East out and girls count. And uh, that means we can now take whatever we want from these guys. We might as well full annex them, right? No reason not to. There you go. What you got over here? Mammy. Mammy. You got nothing to live for, man. Give it up. Give it up. All right. So get over here. This will be nice because we'll be able to touch up our borders over here as well. So I need to wait until I piece this war out. So rather than full annex them, I'll make them an OPM over here, which is hilarious. That will allow us to get a mission... Mecca and Medina need to be converted. Okay. So we have to get the banks of the Euphrates first. So that's not going to happen. Yeah, we have to wait. Mm, unfortunate. Okay, well, that's fine. We're still going to take everything over in Arabia that we can. There's no reason not to. Uh, yeah, I can actually take it right now. So no problem. There's not a whole lot of dev out here. So you can yoink a little bit, but it's not really super useful. And there you go. Just core it all up. These guys will... Um, Hang out over here in. Oh, I don't care. Jeddah, I guess that province is called. Nubian Company, but there we go. Name looking good. Big font is good. That's how you know you're winning the game, right? Uh, na, 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 na. Six nobility privileges, so let's just summon the diet. Oh, of course, we don't even have the option to do it. <laughs> Stupid. Do a couple of dev clicks there. Get it reset here. These guys are heading out of there. Don't need to be forced marching. Medina is now part of our patrimony. Lots of rebels over here. Having a hard time clearing my throat there. Apologies. I'm going to have rebels over here in uh, Nubia or whatever this area is called. So let's handle them. Very good. We are converting everything. Let's uh, continue to convert everything. Right. No reason not to. There's so many merchants. We get the one from the Pentarchy. Yes. Get the one from Jerusalem. Yes. Get the one from here. Uh, yes, we do. Get the one from Mecca. Okay. Is there more I could be getting? Thinking about it, I... I I think we're good. I mean, we have Christian ideas. As far as I know, we're done with the uh, missionaries, which is fine. I mean, seven is plenty. It's a lot. Okay, let's have you guys suppress rebels over here and up here in Georgia land. Looks like Georgia's got an army built up, which is nice. How you doing, buddy? 22,000. Force summit is 52. Okay. That is, uh, that's very solid. Wallachia is, uh, How's Wallachia doing? 18,000. Their force limit is 18,000. Okay, so can we build a couple of these over here for you? We can. Looks like I built a bunch of buildings for him already. So let's also build some universities. Just build them in every province. Continue making more money. Truce to Portugal will be up in uh, two years. And obviously we continue converting everything because that's what you do. Midas touched, huh? It's not very useful. You're maxed out on Diplomana. So let's do some dev. How cheap that is is stupid. Do some dev over here. I want to dev in like our 
good uh good production provinces there you go lots of uh lots of goods produced is good our trade is up to 361 not bad huh and that's assuming provence isn't still protecting a bunch of trade over here or collecting a bunch of trade rather we uh we need to integrate aragon asap we're still a vassal of spain i wonder why they haven't uh, declared independence yet it's kind of weird nice and uh just continue on our mission here look at that how's it looking we just conquered it and it's already getting converted so speaking of i just did a ton of dev i should probably be doing a ton of this right we've been talking about it i've been talking about it all game and i need to do it get that culture map mode looking a little prettier right look at that that's some border gore i don't mind a little bit of border gore though i think it adds to flavor makes it more interesting <laughs> but not too bad let's get a little more money in the bank use that to invest back into buildings which will make our dev much cheaper in the future so our next idea group Ooh, okay uh well if i wait a little bit so what's our next idea group i haven't even thought about it um we could go with <laughs> great power ideas what do those do Vastually, vastualization acceptance chance unjustified demands sphere of influence okay possible advisors and uh call upon an illustrious council once during the coronation of our ruler uh diplo advisor cost that's fine and mandate growth reform progress growth admin free policies promoted cultures none of those are particularly useful for us we get an extra missionary through christian ideas though and uh engineering ideas gives us maneuver yeah it's not very good admin efficiency five percent um standing army ideas so military academy is where you get like your your god tier generals from leader siege one percent manpower recovery morale of armies tolerance of true faith but i'm okay with taking an admin idea as well we could go eco it got nerfed a little bit but um we already have trade eco trade gives goods produced offensive engineering gives goods produced as well yeah we're gonna go eco let's switch over to a admin focus and uh, let's see here. Can we get a Greek advisor? I'd like a Greek trade advisor. That would be like best case scenario. I'm just going to wait. Uh, actually, no, it's fine. We'll take it right now. We're going to go eco. There's no reason not to, I guess. I had a comment and somebody said, take a shot every time Chewie says there's no reason not to. <laughs> I do say it a lot. So we broke off his, his uh, guarantee. So let's get over here and occupy an annex Mushasha. Hansa, Hansa, Han, Han, Hansa. You can full annex them, so we should. They're an OPM, so. As I like to say, no reason not to, right? All right, get you guys out of there. There we go. They're building an army up over here. Let's get over there and start sieging it down. There we go. We're going to full annex you. Might as well full annex QQ as well. Oh, wait, where's... Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, we're going to definitely... We're going to try to full annex all three of them. Can we do it? I think we can. No, we cannot. That's okay. So, I will annex QQ in this war. Or in this uh, piece. You guys have nothing... Like... Man, the AI is always so stubborn about it, too. They're like, there's nothing that they can do to fight it. Everybody in the war is full occupied. But because they have like a two stack running around somewhere, they're like, nope, I'm not going to uh, accept that piece. So it cleans up those borders over there, which is nice. And then this deal, we will annex everybody. Not bad. I like it. So core it all up as well. Have you guys head over here and suppress, suppress, suppress. Of course. Have you guys suppress here? No reason to move them. And uh, yeah, we're going to end up having rebels over here until they get converted. Some of them are, but not everybody. The Byzantine Admiralty. Okay, I remember this. Uh, apparently, I just forgot to look at it. So, which will give us 
A Navy Tradition Admiral cost sounds good. Cost us a lot of money and some Diplo mana, but I think that's kind of cool. Did that give us the Admiral that we were talking about before? The Godly Admiral? Nope. I wonder what happened to that. Perhaps we had to have it upgraded. I don't actually know exactly how that works. So Ardalon is uh, going to get Holy Ward as well because we have claims on him. This is my land now. Bippity boppity and all that. So these guys are in a war with uh, a Jom. We're coring up most of this stuff, so that's good. On that siege over there. Those guys should be supported. Yeah, suppressed, rather. Okay. We're going to have these guys full occupied minus that province. Which, obviously, I want. So let's get up here, siege down at no guy, and uh, get them out of the war ASAP. Very good. The day to celebrate, yes. So, I mostly want the construction cost. And um, that's it, mostly. <laughs> construction cost and dev cost. Production efficiency is nice as well. Hey, look at that. Literally right after I uh, spent all that. So I'm actually going to just save up my money. Well, hello there. Hello there. Oh, he killed the Georgians. Ripped the Georgians. They didn't do nothing wrong. They were good boys. Yeah, there's no reason to take Diplo or Miltech. I'd rather Dev. So. Capitania. Is that the... Um, nobility. Yes. Cool. I actually uh, was kind of being dumb. And I didn't look at that first. So, that's good. Now that will help us get a little step closer towards this one. Take our chances, I don't care. So here we go. What is our siege ticks up here? Nice. Here we go. No guy will just get pieced out. Don't care about him at all. Just one out of the war more than anything. There you go. Here we go. And now we have to wait until these guys peace out. They cannot take any clay, so there's no like benefit for them being in the war, which is always annoying. Just convert everybody. All shall accept the true faith. Everybody shall do it. They do not have a say. They may think they have a say. They do not have a say. Conflict of court and country. Everybody gets converted. How's our uh, colony coming on down here? Norwegian Guinea. Hey, we got some ebony. Very cool. Half off trade advisor who's Umbrian. It's an accepted culture, but it's not uh, not Greek, so I don't really care. Very good, very good. Suppress rebels everywhere. Hate it if you like accidentally just click and drag the tiniest little bit. Very good. Now the construction cost is cheaper. We can build plenty of those. Town hall, huh? So let's build these first. Wow, the auto clicker is like super slow. Oh wow, this game is just chugging. Yeah, I got my auto clicker turned on. Look at that. 40 to 50 ducats for some of them. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's probably enough for me for now for that. Um, let's go build up more infrastructure, of course. It's much faster when you click it from the top. But for some reason, those buildings, you it doesn't let you focus them from the top. Or um, it doesn't let you sort them by... Um, uh, what's it called? Governing cost. So you just have to do it from the bottom. I don't know. It's a weird thing. You can tell that it was uh, an afterthought. Our artist is dead, sadly. Let us go with a missionary strength guy who's super cheap. I like missionary strength. Where are those rebels at? Coptic zealots? I don't think so. In their one Coptic province. <laughs> Yeah, we have to wait for this war to be over before we can peace out. Or we have to wait for our truce to be up and attack them. Which may be the best way to do it. 
When's our truce with um, Timurids up? 71, very close. So we'll probably attack Timurids ASAP. Need to start uh, working our way over this way. And our truce with Portugal is over and Aragon. Really? No, it's not. Oh, I was looking at CVs. All right, our truce with Portugal is over though. That will call on Austria and Spain. Okay, sounds good, man. Commonwealth, you want to join this war? We'll be called into multiple wars. Yeah, about that. Put you guys over here. These guys will do nothing. Austria is a nobody now. Look at them. The long, skinny. These guys up there, they have no morale. So that is a quick wipe. And uh, these guys over here are being annoying. Get them stack wiped. There you go. Where are you going, turd? Hmm? Get bent, mate. Get up here. Oh, no general. My general died. I uh, didn't catch that. Oopsies. Either that or I didn't have one in the first place. Either way, oopsies. <laughs> no big deal. And, uh, yeah. So we just need to win these sieges and we'll get out of that. So, uh... Do a little bit, bit of manda mill dev. Look at that. Five. Five mil mana per click. Even on the more expensive one. Nine. Oh, so expensive. So expensive. And uh, just like that, we're uh, we're cruising. All right, cool. These guys are ready to roll. We just need to uh, get these guys occupied. And then these guys over here will siege down this area. All I want in this war is this. Spain. I do not know where Spain's capital is. So let's take a look here. South Africa. Yeah, it's about what I expected. <sighs> also, we have Kano in this war. I think it's okay for us to get a general. Five five siege. It's pretty solid. Get you guys down there. Are we marching? 72. Yeah, I don't think so. Don't need a marching. They probably have some boats, so we need to be mindful of that. All right, let's actually... Where are our transports at? Here they are. So let's actually have all of our boats grouped up over here. We don't, I mean, we're gonna hurt from not sharing trade as much, but it's okay. What we need to do is we need to upgrade these ships because we haven't upgraded our ships in quite a while. Those guys are getting beat up over here. No big deal. There we go. Austria needs to get uh, east out ASAP. So let's head over here and start uh, sieging down their provinces. And Provence is in the war as well. I really need to look at who I'm declaring war on, huh? <laughs> uh, let's take this tech a little bit ahead of time. No big deal. Upgrade our cannons. And uh, cav, I guess. I'm, I'm not really using them. You don't have to upgrade your cav if you don't want to. I just don't feel like dealing with the, uh, the pop-up. And we will continue to core everything or convert everything. How are we doing over here with our prosperity? We're getting there. We have prosperity in some of them. So as soon as we get prosperity down here, we'll be able to continue through our mission tree. Which is good. Have you guys up here. Give this fort to... Let's see here. 65. 70 for Georgia. Not bad. Uh, so Spain. Austria will peace out. A white piece is fine with me. here oh, Provence needs to get pieced out now they will white piece that's fine with me have you guys come over here now all I want from them in this war is these provinces and I should be able to get it I think it's very reasonable yes I can so I don't think we need to go down to Spain I don't think it's necessary let's have you guys head over here and start clapping some navies then oh whoa, 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 whoa. what am I doing Get a, yeah. Looks like he is our best admiral. That's fine. And uh, continue to work through our idea group. Wipe out a few navies here and there. Artelon needs annexed, so I will annex them. Very good. Pour you all up. 
Ajam will get declared war on here when our truce is up. Okay, these guys, the truce is up uh, soon. PM. Yeah, two months. Uh, that will allow us to get into farce. How far off are we from our mission here? Um, oh, right. We need to click this button as soon as we're done with this manufacturing. How long is that going to take? It's almost done. Where are we at here? Thanks to the Euphrates. Rivalries of old. This one, we just need a couple more provinces over here. So as soon as we take Farsistan, we'll be able to do that. So that'll be good. And that will give us mill mana for 25 years, as well as goods produced in Tabriz and goods produced base production and PP. Very good. Sorry, a little hiccup there. So these guys are going to peace out now. Though, you know, I'm not going to lie. A white piece with Spain would probably be like good for us. Yeah, let's have them head down and do that. We're also very close to imperialism. Let's go with construction cost. And uh, build some more buildings. I like the universities. It just makes it so if you have overflow mana, you just spend it all on dev. And, uh, you know, you're good. Look at that. Uh, how far ahead are we on Diplo? Uh, we're going to wait, take Diplo, and then we'll get back to conversions. Good. So these guys are heading over with their general. They're going to head down and go siege down Spain's province. There's capital down there. Look at Kabu. I love it. Such a good color. Very good. Their navies are somehow dodging my giant navy. There you go. Spain has the, had their capital occupied. Have them get occupied a bit more. Let's have our navies repair. Very good. Spain, just peace out, buddy. Wait, peace. One more month and they will, so... There you go. Have these guys force march out there and that will allow us to accept this piece now as well to have these guys head back home because otherwise they're going to be sitting there taking a ton of naval attrition wait until this guy's here our diplomat is back we do not need to be doing that we don't need to be doing that don't need to be doing that so free up our diplomats and boom maybe kano i suppose i kick you guys out of here as well so that's fine. I'll take the Azores as well. All is as it should be. Yep, there we go. Not bad. Yoink and yoink and four. There we go. Easy peasy, right? Ah, so good. So I assume there's going to be a mission for... Okay is a hegemon right we should probably think about that right we haven't really spent much time thinking about it i she's oh man anastasios oh it's a guy he's older but he's not that old so i'm gonna hold on to him his mana gen is solid so we're going to keep him uh keep him going for now so Let's take a look at our strategic goods and make sure that we are still in charge of all of the nodes that we want. Grain, gold doesn't matter. So I'm looking for gems. We have none, apparently. Production efficiency from whales. Saffron, merge maintenance, okay. Cab combat ability from horses. All is, which gives us provincial trade power. Marble. Looks like we're doing really well on most of them. Camels gives nothing. <laughs> Uh, dates, cheese, garrison size. Okay. Ultra conversion cost from carpet, which is solid. Might want to actually invest a little bit more into the development over there. Let's see here. Can I get a, uh, a manufacturing on some carpet provinces? Looks like I have a bunch. Cairo's carpet, right? So let's see here. Yeah, let's get some more production over here. I don't have a road network, so let's see here. Is this on carpet? Yep. So let's build you. Let's build you. 
Let it, we're coring you. Yep, that's it. So we got a couple over here as well. Get rid of the church, build you, and then get rid of that church and build you. Not bad, right? But as far as all the major ones go, I think we have them all. Let's see here. Trading bonus. And basically, I have all the ones that I need. Uniforms gives army morale speed recovery, which is good. And then leather jewelry gives admin efficiency. We are the only guy producing that. Metal working is good. Munitions is good. Um, and where are we at here? I was looking for... So lead, infantry cost is solid marble. And then, what was it I was looking for? Admin tech cost, nice. Glass gives diplo tech cost. I'm looking for, I'm looking for, so steam engine. I don't think we can build it quite yet, right? We'll have to take a look at that. Um, rum, where's all the rum gone? Uh, where's cannons? That's the one that I was looking for. Cannons, cannons, cannons. Oh yeah, we're the only one, very good. So let's take a look at that. It's a bit of a longer episode. I lost track of time here. So steam engine, we need the enlightenment embraced. Okay, that's fine. So we'll get that eventually. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video. I think it's about time we head over this way. Commonwealth will join, so we might as well call him in. Uh, we will wrap this war up in the next one, of course. So I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure you let me know, leave a like on the video, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. If you want to check out what's going on, oh, I called it in Ethiopia, not the Commonwealth. But if you guys want to check out what's going on in the Discord, uh, Dis Discord, Twitter, uh, subreddit, all that stuff is linked in the description below, as well as my Patreon. If you have it within your means and you'd like to support, it's all super appreciated. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is True Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.